singer called I don't know if Baby Rexa is that how you Bebby? Oh yeah, Baby Rexa. I, Bebe Rexa. Nick, can you pull up the uh, screenshot? So she also leaked uh, text messages from her boyfriend. Her or, boyfriend. Yeah. I guess they broke up. Um, so let's read that. Okay, can you uh, control zoom in? Yeah, and th you know what? I'm actually gonna have Essie. No, no, no. Scroll to the top so we can actually read it out. Oh, I all remember the way to the this. top. All the way to the top. Uh, Essie, can you read the text message? It says, "Hey, I never said you weren't beautiful." Oh, hold on, let me let me just clarify. This is her boyfriend, so Baby Rex or whatever, her uh, singer, I guess, famous. Never heard of her. Um, this is a text message, not that she sent, but that her boyfriend sent. Go ahead, Nick, and if you can uh, scroll it out just a bit so we can actually read the. Hey, no, s s sorry. You, the, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I never said you weren't beautiful and I never said I didn't love you. In fact, I said how beautiful you are and how much I loved you. But I always said I would be honest with you and your face was changing, so I told you it was. That was the conversation we were having and you asked, because I care. Would you rather I lied to you? You gained 35 pounds, obviously you gained weight and your face changes. Should I just pretend it didn't happen and that it's okay? Come on, I gained three pounds and you call me chubs and fat. Doesn't mean you don't love me. If you're trying to find reasons to break up, this makes sense, dot, dot, dot. But it's not the real reason. If you're unhappy with me slash yourself slash with life and don't see a future with us, then that's okay and that's the reason. Don't use something like that to weaponize your anger or anxiety or any insecurity you may have. You, you know I always found you to be beautiful and loved you no matter so something. Nick, I, gotta, I think it's yeah, important zoom, for you to... Zoom, zoom out, zoom out. I think it's important for you to think about things and write things down, speak to a therapist and do this retreat thing to get the root of the problem, to get to the root of the problem. Let me know if you'd like to speak or if you need more clarity. Love you. Okay, so text message from her, I suppose now ex-boyfriend. She uh, posted this to her Instagram, uh, so somewhat related to the Jonah Hill situation because she's releasing what is otherwise private communications. Um, so has anybody seen this story? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I was on Valuetainment recently. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to understand a little bit because she only released that text message. From what he's saying, it sounds like she asked him at some previous point, some prior point, to give her feedback on her appearance. We don't know if she literally just texted him like, hey, does this outfit make me look? I don't know what the scenario is, but... Does anyone know like kind of the details of this? We never really heard what prefaced that. She just kind of released that and That's went it. with that. Yeah. So, but given what we've seen, um, it's he's saying, "Hey, you've gained some weight. Thirty-five pounds, I guess, is what it was." Um, is he a dick for this? Is he a is he a jerk? No. Or was that a pretty reasonable text message? To me, it seems like she asked. I think if it was an unwarranted opinion, then maybe it wouldn't exactly have been an appropriate thing to say. But to me personally, reading that text message, it seemed like he was coming from a place of kindness after her mm -hmm. kind of prefacing the conversation and asking him. I don't think it's right to be upset with him if you were asking for honesty. And because to me, he didn't seem like he was attacking her. He wasn't trying to break up with her. He wasn't saying that she wasn't beautiful anymore or anything like that. He just seemed like he was responding to something that she had asked him. Mm -hmm. Agreed. He also gave a lot of reassurance. Yeah. And he, he didn't he say that like you made fun of me when I gained like a couple of pounds or something? Yeah. yeah. This, this instance is like, didn't he say 30 pounds or something? Or that's what they were implying? Like that's a very large amount compared to a couple of pounds. And again, going back to the difference between men and female, we poke fun at guys all the time. We make fun of them for being shorter or maybe not being as masculine or this, that or the other. But when it comes back to females, the direction, the, 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 the reaction is totally different sometimes. And the way we expect them to react is totally different sometimes. I mean, I don't think it's appropriate for her to call him chubs or fat if he's gained a couple pounds either. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just doesn't sound like a healthy relationship to me. Yeah. If that's I, I agree. I'm just behaving. saying that happens. No, no, yeah. I, I completely agree mm -hmm. with you. I, yeah. I do agree with you. I think mm -hmm. that I just... It seems like he was coming from a place of love and he wasn't aggressive or... Completely, yeah. yeah. I completely agree. So. Coming at her with malice or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's, this is a too, as controversial of a post as yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you would have liked it to be. Which is crazy. I, why she post it? Yeah, like, what did she expect she people? Like, what reaction did she expect? It's so funny. That just, that's an indication of how women just expect sympathy automatically for nothing. Like, there's a bunch of other examples of this in recent media, actually. Yeah. It's really silly. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I think 
women tend to be criticized harder personally, but I, I just don't think that he was criticizing her in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I think he really just seemed, he seemed like a good partner to me in what he was saying. Yeah. Very much so. I'm also wondering if maybe the weight gain was contributed to like the relationship not being the best. Maybe she wasn't happy. Like there's probably some deeper things to unpack there. I would yeah, say. Yeah, it could be anything. We have absolutely no idea. Yeah. But yeah, I think this is less controversial. I know people online were kind of making a lot of controversy about it, but when I read it, and I mean, I tend to be pretty, you know, attack mode (laughs) with stuff like that. Um, But no, I think he seemed like a good partner and somebody that was just addressing the situation that she had asked for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty shocking, though, that she took a screenshot (laughs) of that and thought, oh, this is going to be such a W. Like, well, I mean, there's definitely people that sided with her. But I mean, like, just if you take yourself out of the situation, you look at the actual text message, he's being very diplomatic and polite, and he does say, hey, you gained some weight, but it sounds like she, there was some, we don't know what it was, but either she asked him to be upfront or honest with with her about her, any changes in physical appearance, so who knows, but... Uh, I think mm-hmm. even if she didn't ask before, I think it's reasonable to bring something like that up, because that might, like like affect certain things in the relationship like for example as shallow as it seems like attraction attraction plays a huge part within relationships and if he feels no longer attracted to her then that could be a thing and also like gaining a lot of weight might indicate problems with mental health so that could have come from a place of that too being concerned Mm -hmm. about that which is why he mentioned like the Mm -hmm. retreatment or whatever like in therapy or whatever so Mm -hmm. i think it's perfectly fine like if i gained a few pounds i'd definitely want my boyfriend to help me and if my boyfriend gained a few pounds i'd definitely say something because like you're supposed to move forward as a couple not move back yes. i would Word. say anything to do with looks though is kind of a touchy subject yeah. so you'd have to touchy, definitely yeah. approach it with like as much kindness and empathy yeah, and as i possible. think that he approached it perfectly fine if that yeah. were to be the case absolutely mm-hmm. Well, and I kind of agree with Essie. I think it's just something that's really sensitive and it could be like a health issue. It could be a mental health issue. There's so many different reasons for that. But I think that as long as you're coming from like a place of kindness, because I see so often in marriages and relationships where a woman has like a baby, for example, and then the male is like, well, I'm not attracted to my wife anymore. Like her body isn't the same. And I think that that kind of comes back to it. Like if you're not going to be attracted to the person that you're with, no matter what weight they're at or whatever, then you like shouldn't be with them wait hold on can you just repeat that sure last part well, go ahead. I think that if you think that you're going to lose attraction if somebody gains a couple pounds then you shouldn't be with that person because women our bodies go through changes throughout our entire life mm-hmm. especially when we're having kids that you know men also want I mean I see instances all the time where these men are going online or on reddit and they're like I'm not attracted to my wife anymore. Her body isn't the same. I like I don't love her anymore because her body isn't pre-baby body. Yeah. And I mean, like that's you're like, never gonna have pre-baby body again. Uh, <laughs> that's like, not what it is. When a man chooses to have a baby with a woman, I feel like women always feel really bad after, and they're like, oh, like they have like this expectation that like oh, like their husband isn't gonna <clears throat> view them the same, you know, because your body changes so much when you have a child, like. When a man has, like, a kid, it's, like, you know, like, they're ordering a baby on Amazon Prime. Like, a woman, like, she's carrying the baby for nine months. Like, your body is going through so many changes. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really important. Like, I feel like a lot of men do go on Reddit and or even go online or anywhere, and they're just, like, "Uh, I don't like my wife anymore. She's not attractive, even though she just, like, gave birth to their child. Like, it's so sad. (laughs) Well, uh, but, I mean, okay, so there's obviously a couple components. There's weight gain and then... Mm -hmm which you do have control over, perhaps it might take you a bit of time, but there's also uh, like stretch marks from pregnancy. Right. Okay, so stretch marks, that's pretty much out of your control if you get that from you know, carrying a kid. I don't think that men should you know, be hounding on their wives for stretch marks, mm-hmm. um, but when it comes to weight gain, um, you know, th- she, she gained 35 pounds apparently, what's that? I said some weight gain, in some cases it's good weight gain, you know? But when a man is like, oh, no, I, I would like it better when you were thinner. Like, in my case, like, I was very, very thin uh, about two years ago. And, and, and I gained happened? I gained 30 pounds. And some guy was like, you're, like, you're getting fat. And, like, that's really hurtful, you know? Like, Nick. you don't just say that, you know? And, and like, some weight is good weight. And, it, again, it can be attributed to health issues. I mean, for example, like, I've Medication. always been a thicker person. But, I mean, I have a personal trainer. I work out five days a week. I weight, lift weights. I go to spin classes. I eat healthy. I don't eat meat. I 
have a dietitian. I go to doctors and I am insulin resistant. I'm not a diabetic or anything like that, but it's very, very, very difficult for me to lose weight no matter what I do. So am I supposed to be in a relationship with somebody that's going to judge me for that when it's something that's completely out of my control? Wait, what's out of your control? Um, being insulin resistant and working out and eating healthy and not losing weight. Wait, insulin resistant? Yes. What is that? What is it's very difficult for my body to lose weight. I'm not diabetic or anything like that, but like insulin is extremely necessary in order to lose weight and my body doesn't accept. Is that a medical accept. diagnosis? Yes. To be insulin resistant. And yes. so that makes it difficult for you to lose weight. Yes. So even if you, you eat at a calor caloric deficit, you still can't lose weight? Uh, I permanently eat at a calor caloric deficit. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some I, people like do I said, have yeah. that. Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying is like, is that fair for me to, you know, at any point in time have my man be like, oh, well, you've gained weight, like you're unhealthy, I'm not attracted to you anymore, when it's literally something that's out of my control. I yeah. mean, I literally have a trainer, I, I do everything I can. I think or if in you're that taking case, medication it's, uh, too. appropriate to disclose that to your partner, because if you disclose that to your partner right away, they might be less... That's not something right. you really talk about, like, oh, by the way, can't lose weight. Like, well, no, uh, that's no, not but what if she <laughs> was, what if your, your girlfriend or wife was one way, and then gained 40 pounds, and you're, you're not attracted to her at her new weight, I think that, let's say, you, let's say it's, okay, with the baby, whatever the fuck her name is, they don't have kids, they don't have kids, so there was no pregnancy involved. We, let's, if we stick to the story, she wasn't pregnant, she didn't go through a pregnancy, she, as far as I know, she doesn't have kids. Um, she just gained 40 pounds, 35 pounds, whatever it was. And it wasn't even clear. He said he loved her, so I, he wasn't like trying to end the relationship. But she was just butthurt about this text message. I he, guess I don't know. He even still said she's beautiful. He said yeah, I yeah, love yeah, you exactly. at any weight. So that's why I'm saying like I don't even think that it was malice or that he wasn't attracted yeah. to her. To me, it seemed like a conversation they were having, and she just for some reason felt vengeful and decided to screenshot that and post but it. But you online. guys, do you guys think it would be it would be wrong for a guy to break up with his girlfriend again no child in the picture break up with his girlfriend if she gained like 40 pounds i think that's perfectly reasonable honestly like i said attraction plays a huge role in relationships and if you no longer feel attracted to that person that's going to set your relationship back quite far like that's like if a guy were to go bald say like male powdered baldness and if you no longer feel well if what? someone huh? like i feel like okay if a guy were to go bald sure like, let's just compare the two. Like, a guy goes bald if a woman doesn't feel attracted. Get the scroll and the energy drink. <laughs> if a Where's guy were to go drink? bald right and a woman in. were to complain about it, it wouldn't really be as big of a thing because, like, oh, he went bald. Like, I don't like him anymore. But if a woman gains weight, for some reason, that's a sensitive, touchy topic. Go ahead. As opposed to... Um, well, relationships are for, like, the better and for the worse. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if my partner's struggling with, like, things that affect their... Like, if he was had a receding hairline or something like I still care about him on the inside like my my, my attract attractiveness to him may differ but like these are all things that can be fixed over time like if he's he's bald he can get a hair transplant or what if he, I can, what if he doesn't want to if he doesn't want to get a hair transplant that's want, on that's him but like I'm not going to break up with him because yeah. he's balding yeah. like it's I don't never, I'm not yeah. dating so him shallow. for his hair yeah. like if a guy is going to break up with me for gaining 40 pounds for like whatever reason like at least be willing to have a conversation with your partner about yep. your uh, like mm -hmm. communication like talk to them about it work yep. through it if you can don't just give up i feel like a lot of people just give up way too easily in relationships nowadays 40 pounds would also usually denote some type of physical or mental health like right. thing that's like really occurring so typically the conversation would happen before exactly. you got yeah. to that tipping point i feel point, like i right? wouldn't be like oh my god like my boyfriend gained like 40 pounds i don't like him anymore i don't know i feel like that's like really you, shallow are, yeah you're not a, along the way there what's was, going on <laughs> yes i just said i love i love it you when love, my men are thicker you love you like thick dudes yeah well i think it's i don't know if it's a like apt. i really like this one guy when he can i can i say this real quick i'm sorry i like interrupted well, you go ahead okay i really like this one guy sorry i like tend to play with the cup but i really like this one guy and he was a little bit like chubbier and then all of a sudden he started losing all this weight and like started going to the gym and like started getting like a really nice body I kind of lost attraction. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was like, oh, like I miss my chubby man. Like there's so much more to hug. And, what? Like, <laughs> so he got fit. Yeah. And you started losing attraction for him. Yeah. I don't know. You should yeah. see a doctor about that. But, um, 
But He's I don't like, know if it's squishy. a. I don't. They're fun to hug, yeah. fun to cuddle with. They're not all hard and like. Yeah, I think it's stiff. perfectly within your right to like lose attraction to someone. If you were attracted to him for being chubbier in the first place and he lost weight, that's perfectly reasonable. But at the same time, like if someone started out as thin and got fat, which like. And, and they could control it. Like, say, male pattern baldness, you can't control that. Shaving your head, you can control that. But if they were to get fat, I think it's perfectly within the man's right to be, like, like a step back from the relationship. I mean, sure, he should bring it up first or stop it before it's too late, stop it, whatever. But I think it's perfectly within anyone's right to, like, express that they're, they don't feel attracted to their partner. Yeah, also, I mean, I don't know if, the like, a guy losing his hair is... It's, it's not, an apt comparison to it's gaining not a comparison, 40 pounds. But I just meant no, no, like no, no, medically. Not you. I mean, oh yeah, I, I just meant like medically gaining weight. Like like if there's like a medical reason going on, I'd say that it's like sort of on the same kind mm. of spectrum as uh, the hair loss thing, like male mm -hmm. pattern baldness. But when it's something that you do have control over, like liberty over, like if you choose not to lose the weight that you've gained, and if you went to the gym and you just easily lose it like that, I'd say that it's like perfectly like reasonable to be like hey i don't really feel attracted to you i don't think this is going to work out because that also reflects the person's lifestyle and if this person has a lifestyle that might set the other partner back you know you don't really want to be a part of that and like i feel like not wanting to go to the gym not wanting to improve that reflects on the person as like oh they're lazy they they just don't want to change they, they just want to like sit stagnant in this situation no yeah like i see where you're getting at but i think you can you know it's like you're couple your partner is getting some way you don't really find them attractive i think there's a nice way to say it like oh like gym date you know you have to be like you're getting fat like <laughs> well, how bb's boyfriend did it honestly he did it yeah. great honestly yeah, if any guy was gonna yeah. do it that way then honey that's fine you yeah can go ahead that's bb fine. was a little very respectful there wasn't no reason to post that bb <laughs> no reason <laughs> I don't know. Also, if she really loved him, I feel like she wouldn't really out him like that. You Facts. Know? I Very feel like true. if I if so I love true. somebody, I'm gonna protect them no matter what. Exactly. Like, I don't want anyone. I don't want anyone. I'd say she was already. Wait, even, hold on. Even if hold I was uh, mad. Didn't you just say earlier on in the show th something about getting revenge on an ex? <laughs> I said, yeah, like, uh, you know, like sometimes you do want to get revenge, but like to put it out there in public and be like, I wouldn't come out here and be like, F my ex, like he was, uh, you know, like say all these like terrible things about them because. Like, you know, I feel like I've always, when I love somebody, I feel like I will always love them a little bit, you know? I, that love will never, like, die for them. And I also have massive respect for these people that have mm -hmm. once been a part of my life. Like, they came into my life for a reason, you know? Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't go out of my way to, like, post something, especially if I have, like, such a huge fan base and anyone and everyone can go and, like, attack them for no reason just because, you know, you needed that little hit of, like, feeling, like... Validated, validation you know yeah. validation mm -hmm. and i don't know i feel like i'm so sorry bb but i feel like it was a little immature <laughs> especially because she's such she's such a huge celebrity and like all her fans are probably gonna go attack that poor I dude like and she was wasn't even you know he didn't do that he didn't do anything wrong. yeah by the way her, out of the relationship her boyfriend is not like super well known like i think i i, I looked him up he's got like ten thousand followers oh, on that's even worse instagram so mm -hmm. he doesn't have like the same level of Oh like, yeah, that's way worse than yeah. Uh, yeah, it's she did, just she like, didn't really love him. She I'm just so sorry. sent the the dogs after him, basically. <laughs> yeah. like so. She wanted oh, to get her lick. 